Hello friends, today we will discuss the first problem in isometric projection that is a sphere of diameter 50 mm rests centrally on top of a cube of sides 50 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination of solids. Here the combination of solids are sphere, another one is cube. The sphere diameter is 50 mm, the cube size is 50 mm. Now let's do the construction. I will go to sheet number 2. I will go for the line command. At anywhere on this sheet, you click here for at your convenient distance. Then I'll go for the length of the line and angle. I'll type length of the line is 50, then angle is 30. Again, I'll type 50, angle is 150. Again, I'll type 50, angle is minus 150. Again, I will type 50, angle is minus 30. We have constructed the base side of the cube. The height of the cube is 50 mm. Again, I will go for the line command. From any one corner, we will draw a line of length 50 mm. And angle is 90. Click here and right click comes out of the command. Then I will go for the move command. Select the line, end point of the line and switch on the copy command. Place this line at each corner of the rhombus base side of the cube then I will again I will go for the line command I will select the end point of the line and I will join those end points ok now I have to find out the center at the top face of the cube I will go for the line command I will join these two corners then sphere diameter is 50 mm, radius of the sphere is 25. From the center, I will take a length of the line that is 25. Enter. Then, the entire thing what I have done is of true scale. I need to convert into ISO scale. If I want to convert into ISO scale, I want to change the scale factor. The scale factor is I will go for the command scale, and here it is written scale factor that means I am converting true scale to ISO scale when you are converting from true, true scale to ISO scale the conversion factor is 0 0.816 you have to type 0 0.816 then you enter and select the drawing and you place the here here now it is converted to ISO scale now the sphere diameter is 50 mm then the I will go for the circle by center point method. From here, I will draw diameter of 50. Now, here we have completed almost uh, of the problem. Now, we have to identify which are visible or which are invisible for you when you see from the front view. For that, I will go for the select tool. I will select this is visible for you. I will make it visible and I will select control. I will press control in my keyboard and I will select the lines which are visible for you and I will make it 0.5 mm. Then I will zoom it and a portion of the line is visible here. I will go for the split option. Select this line. I will split here and again I will select this line. I will split here. Then I will go for fit. See this line and this line is being split. I will make it into 0.5. See. Then I will go for trim command. I will delete the unnecessary lines. Which is not required. Okay friends, this completes the problem. Thank you.